Hey guys, well here's something completely different. I got this from a friend. It works, but it doesn't work. And um, it's I plugged it in. It's kind of unique. Um, let's see. It's called the 2006. Can you imagine Laser Star? And um, so it basically illuminates a star pattern on a wall. And turn it on here. It's kind of noisy, but uh, there's a wheel in there you can see that's not spinning. Um, and I guess that's what kind of makes this thing kind of unique. It puts a pattern on the wall. I don't know how well you can see this. You can kind of see a couple of these stars on the ceiling here. The camera really doesn't do it justice, to be quite honest with you. It's a pretty bright, it's in the middle of the afternoon right here. And uh, perfect Sony camera, right? But, uh, so I guess these things are supposed to move around and they don't. So I'm going to basically just take this thing apart and see what's inside of it. Well, with the bottom off, you can see that there's really nothing here but just uh, support for these little brackets here, I guess. Let's take that off and get this whole star part off of this base. All right, well, I see it's going to be a real dangerous situation here. Probably not so much. All right, got the screws off, and I just cut these labels with a razor blade. There's another one here in the front, and I literally have not had the top off this. I, I kid you not. Oh, boy. Very interesting. Just kind of reposition this here. Let's get this just slid right into the other housing over here and uh, just looking at this there's these uh, wires that feed the motor basically down here these guys right here and it goes up to looks like this printed circuit board right here let me just get a, a razor blade and cut this off and see where they go. All right, well, I moved the t removed the tape, and I was kind of fooling around in here and pulling this, some stuff around because it's got, like, this glue, an adhesive. I've seen this before plenty of times. They use this adhesive right here. And I was just moving stuff around, and I actually found that this wire right here, I don't know if I just jerked that off the circuit board or not, but that's the wire to the motor right there. This guy right, right there. Looks like it kind of came off, so I'm going to try to uh, reaffix that, so to speak, and um, see what happens here. Well, it proved easier to remove the circuit board, and uh, you can see the missing the socket right there, which actually says motor right there, and the missing wire right there. Right there. So we'll just solder that back on and see what happens. You never Here's know. Here's the back side of the board right here, and this is the connection right here. And it's like it's like mounted up. It's like there's three posts that are all connected to the same piece, which seems kind of strange. But I mean, it really, uh, I don't know if I can get my light to stay here or not. Probably not, but. It's really got a, uh, I mean, look how far that hangs down. It's kind of strange, but I'll, just, I'll make that connection with this broken wire here. Here's the guy right here, missing in action. Let's see what happens. Well, I got it stripped back. I'm just going to try to solder that back into that slot there best I can all right well I got her soldered back on there it's actually a pretty good connection uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere here but uh, next is just a test see what happens see if the old motor turns let me just get this back into here like it's supposed to be I'll throw some power on it the old smoking trusty soldering gun Iron, what do you want to call it? There, I got the power back on, a little power switch. Turn it on. 
you see we've got some progress because this is turning and it didn't turn before so I guess that's really what was wrong with it I should put this thing together and put it in a dark room and we'll see what it looks like but I think that should do the job right there I guess it just popped off of there I guess that's a proverbial dry solder joint as a lot of people like to call it well there she is that's that's the uh, business end of it right there. It's about the darkest room I can get. Uh, check this out. This thing is pretty cool actually, man. You can see a little laser action coming up at the camera. But check this out. Pretty cool, man. I guess I could see laying in bed looking at this pretty cool definitely pretty cool makes a huge difference with uh, everything moving around I didn't look at it in the dark before but it's pretty darn neat man pretty cool like the clouds just kinda roll on back and forth I guess you can change that though you see about let me see make adjustment on here. Alright, you can add clouds to it. It's a pretty cool. Damn cool device. Check this out. Oh well there uh, this is for Donnie and Amy. Enjoy it. I know it's pretty cool. I can see why you wanted it fixed. Thanks for watching, guys.